What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Satisfactory. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome to the channel. So, comments. Someone said one of these was turned off. Oh my god, it's so loud. And they were all turned on. What The problem was one of these wasn't connected to the line over there. It was like the third one from that side. Uh, but once I got it turned on, now we're at full capacity. Actually, it's 660. And I think that's because there's a biomass still running over there. Um, I did hook those up just to make sure everything worked fine. And it's great. In fact, we're barely using any. 167 is not much. Of course, some of the machines aren't turned on or disconnected entirely. But we're going to head back to base and get more stuff and things going. I want to get more of these because the 600 is just not going to last. Anyway, I'll meet you back at base. Ah, uh, back at base. Um, I wanted to tame one of those funny looking dog things, but I didn't see a single one of them. Someone in the comments said I should just drop a berry. I have berries on me, but I didn't see anything. Not a single one. So I don't know. I, I, I imagine they're random spawns. Not sure. But I would like to have a pet. I need a friend. I don't have any friends. I want to do some research and see what else we need to learn. All right. A little bit of research, just because we can. I don't even know if we're going to be using any of it, but, I mean, we have it. Might as well. Is it worth spending the resources? Probably not. Sulfur, okay. We don't have black powder. I don't know what the key means. Experimental power generation. So we need modular frames and rotors. I think that's all we can do for the time being. Oh, it's better than nothing. Okay, what is next on the list? Let's see, we need stuff and things to happen here. Tractor and truck station, probably not super important. I need this. I need steel. So we need modular frames and a bunch of rotors. And I would love that, too. In order to do that, we need the steel pipe. Also, I just remembered, if I go into settings, I can turn off that... Is that what that is? The game phase, right? Hell yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, sweet. It's gone. Thank you. Thanks, comments. Thanks, guys. I'll deal with the elevator shit later. Well, right now I want... this. Okay, so we need rotors... and modular frames. Okay. We have the frames. Let's put in there. Get this going. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new, simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Thanks, Ada. Alright, so we got more stuff and things. Let's see, we have... Foundry. 
can be automated by feeding ore into it with a conveyor belt connected to the inputs. The produced ingots can be automatically extracted by connecting. Okay, yeah, we I know that. I get it. So we have the foundry. What else is new? Really? That's it? That's all that opened was the foundry? Okay. So how about... No, we don't... We don't particularly need this right now. At least not that I know of. MK3 belt? Holy crap. Okay. Stackable pipeline. Oh my god. I want this. I want this bad. Okay. We're gonna... Well, I'm not gonna put that on there right now, because we're, like, forever away from that. Okay. Just out of curiosity. Can I make those pipes in here? I can. What does that take? Steel ingots? Okay. Oh, dude, hog protein. Whoops, no. Why? Where'd it go? That's spitter and that's hog. Let's see. Oh, one more thing in the settings. Um, I don't know. Can I do that in game? Let's turn off the the aggression on the animals. I'm not sure where the hell creature hostility. Retaliate? Oh god. <laughs> no. Fuck all that. What the hell? Why would anyone want that? Oh, I guess... That uh, makes sense. We'll only attack when attacked. Okay, for a minute I thought... They're just gonna constantly attack. Sweet. I don't have to worry about being spit on or attacked or anything like that. Alright, I need to gather myself. I, uh... A little bit overwhelmed. Quite frankly, I'm confused as shit right now. Steel ingot. Jesus Christ. Okay, so how do I make this? Steel ingot. Jesus Christ, I need a coal node specific for that. I can tell you right now, that's not happening today. I don't know. I guess maybe start planning a, a, def, uh, a vertical build. Build up. Alright. Walls. Just basic wall. What was in this? Uh, nope. Walls. Well, that's super expensive, isn't it? Or are these schematics? Oh, wait a minute. I think I get it now. I can buy this and that's what's gonna open up for me to build. Okay. I get it. Gate. Tilted wall. Inverted ramp. Okay, okay, okay. Then we have more foundations. There's so much stuff. Customizer. Steel wall. We are nowhere near steel. Concrete. That'd be simple. <laughs> well, 
What the hell? Okay, we don't need none of that. And, or a coffee cup. Oh, there's some steel pipe. Actually, we could buy that. Don't I have 15 coupons on me, right? Somewhere? Uh, it's probably a shit terrible idea, but in order to unlock this, we needed 200 of those. And that'll give us the miner. The MK3. I'm gonna do that. I'm sure it's not the right thing to do, but Gives me 200. Uh, add to cart. Okay, so the coupon thing is pretty friggin' epic. That is absolutely worthwhile. Okay, now we can research that. Uh, shit, we need wire. You guys, I just had an epiphany. I don't even know if that's the right word to use. But if I researched that truck stuff and things. Uh, where the hell was that? Vehicle transport. Vehicular transport. I can build a little tiny factory specifically for coal and then have it trucked over here. Like, that would be the whole point of the, ve the, the vehicle transport, right? That would solve the coal issue to make steel. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> There's, my brain is going about 18 different directions right now, and I don't know how to frickin' handle it. Uh, what the hell was I doing? This? Do I have enough now? I do. We're researching this. Uh, what am I short on? <laughs> Fucking wire! Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. Thanks, Ada. So there's that conveyor belt. MK2, the conveyor lift. Wasn't there a... What should I call it? Uh, what the hell is it called? Not the fluid buffer. Is it, is it in here? It's where you plug it in into the wall. Into the ceiling. Uh, management? There it is, right there. A floor hole. So that would be organization? No? Logistics. I got a hole. I could put holes everywhere. Okay. Let's check this, and then I'm gonna attempt to figure out a second story, or even a third story. Jeez, that's gonna take ages. Alright, I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Okay. I'm gonna leave all this as it is. I want to start planning a second story build. I don't know how to go about doing that. Maybe keep all the... ...smelters... ...and constructors downstairs. And then put all the assemblers and found... not foundry. All the assemblers up top. I have no idea. So I think what I'm going to do is come up with a plan and I'll bring you back when I figure something out. Alright guys, I have a plan. And it consists of starting completely over. I know, weird, right? 
This shit down here, it's just in the way and I don't want to tear it all down entirely right now. I want to let it cook. I want to at least get the foundation up here set up. And the reason why I want to move away from this spot is later on we could utilize it again or, or whatever, I don't know. But we have a bunch of iron and copper right here behind us. We have limestone there. There's a bunch more over here. If I start the build... I don't know, right here, I guess. It's going to be three stories. It's going to take a while, I'm sure. So I'm going to try a different type of editing. It's not necessarily going to be a building montage, but it's going to be a lot of editing, a lot of cuts. Because otherwise, it's just going to take me the rest of the evening into the night to do this. So my plan is 9 by 13 foundation. And we're going to go up, 9 by 13, up, 9 by 13, and then a roof, probably. It's probably not entirely necessary to have a roof. But we're going to start with the foundations. Alright, we got the first foundation down. It's a bit big on this end, but it doesn't look completely awful. Guess I could fill that in real quick. Uh, how about one more? Maybe do like the... Just a one. Oh shit, you're not supposed to be there, what the hell? That's a little better. And I can't fill this gap in. I'm not sure what to do about that or just leave it alone. Not even worry about it. Alright, we got this done. Now it's time to start bringing the machines. I'm wondering if I should just build new machines and then tear them down as I go. Because I don't know if I have all of the materials to be building all new machines. Let's see. Maybe there's enough where I can just collect and then tear all that shit down and start over. I do have a floor plan, and it's going to be clean and tidy and organized. I did research. I even, like, scribbled shit on paper. So, you know. It's not, not going to be terrible. I think we'll be fine, though, as far as materials. I mean, we got shit ton of this. I don't even think we need rod right now. Let's see what else we got. We're gonna need more plate. I'm certain of that. I don't remember dropping that there, but okay. Not gonna worry about the screws. We have a ton of concrete, which is fine. Actually, we're just going to leave that burning and sitting where it's at until I figure that out. That's not incorporated into the new build just yet. There's going to be plenty of room to put it there, but right now it's doing just fine on its own. What I do need is rotors. There's more plate. I think we have enough. I think we're going to have just enough where you can just start over. Let's see, we're going to put all this crap away. All the stuff we don't need on us. Don't think we're going to need the copper sheet. I'm just going to leave it on us, though. Okay. Alright, first step. 
we're gonna build on this before I tear that down and then uh, we'll start migrating the stuff that is unnecessary over here but here we go this should be 9 by 13 yep that's 9 and I think that's 13 all right, we're gonna start with the smelters. We're gonna put four of them down here. I did follow a little bit of a tutorial. I wrote stuff down, <laughs> but I guess we'll soon find out if this is actually going to work because you know me. All right, there's four. Now, another thing I noticed is physics is not really a thing in this game. So I could put like one machine down here and then 30 machines on the third floor. And that ceiling is not going to cave in. It may not look visually proper, but um, one of the floors is going to have like three times the amount of machines. Still organized though. It's still going to be organized. And yes, yes, I did math. I freaking did math. Are you freaking happy? I hope so, because that took me goddamn ages. Um, okay. And even so, the math is probably not going to be completely accurate. Uh, I get burnt out on math, like, instantly. So, there's that. So we got four of these smelters right here. Right? That is a smelter, right? Yeah, okay. The last thing I want to do is put all this shit down and realize I put the wrong F in machines. Alright. Four smelters, and then we're gonna do mergers. Uh, no, not... Not mergers. Splitters. We need splitters, not mergers. That's probably what I should have on the hotbar, actually. Uh, we're gonna put... Well, for now, we're gonna... Get rid of the foundations. We're gonna need that on number four. Okay. Oh, wait. What happened? What did I just do? That's not right. I want this on number five. And I need the MK2 belt on number four. Okay. I think... I think we're ready. I think I can continue on now. Alright guys, I know I'm not talking, but I'm in concentration mode. I'm trying to read, making sure everything's facing the right friggin' direction. Are these even facing the right direction? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't work otherwise. Okay. So we have this first spot. This first uh, section going.
All right, I got this set up. I think this is gonna work. It says more or less, uh, it's basically a copied layout. Problem is, I don't think I have, I don't think I have all the right belts and all that shit. But I'm not entirely sure. I don't know, but it's definitely cleaner than that fucking garbage down there. And this just separates, you know, an overflow and influx and outflux and nobody gives a fucks kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep cranking along. I'm not doing much talking, man. I, I don't know how much talking I can do in this. I mean, what do you guys want me to say? I'm gonna place this here, I'm gonna place that here over and over and over and over again? I don't think so. Not gonna happen. So it's gonna be like a build montage. I don't know, grab some wobble pops. I brought a cooler up with me this time because I know this is gonna take me hours. I have a 30 pack of wobble pops. By the end of this episode, I'm gonna be speaking native wobble, wobble pop, so <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. Alright guys, I decided I'm not going to do three stories. I'll do two stories, but um, it's getting kind of expensive. I'm running out of materials, so what I did is I extended this um, five more wide and then just the rest of the length of that, which I think was 13. It is a bit hangy over -y. Like, there's just a big giant gap under here, but later down the road I can put, like, pillars or whatever to make it look like it's supposed to be there. Now I can continue with the rest of the build, which is copper. This is the basic stuff and things. It's all gonna go in there. And the copper is gonna be the same thing. And then the next story will be the more advanced stuff, like uh, reinforced plate, rotors, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's get started.
Okay, quick update. Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> um, progress. Alright. I'll show you what I got going on here. Or explain it to you, anyway. I'll, I'll explain it the best to my ability. This side is copper. From... Where the hell am I? From right here. No, wait. Yeah, from right here is copper. So these, from from right here, over copper. From right here, over is steel. Or iron, not steel. We're not into the steel things yet. I don't have any of these conveyors hooked up just yet. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to let that continue collecting. Uh, I'm about to be out of plate. I have 68 left. So that's going to be a bit of a bottleneck. But, so we got copper over here, we got splitters, mergers all over the place. These are all doing ingots. These first four are doing wire. These three are doing copper sheets. And then over here we have, I forgot what these are doing, iron plate. The first, I think, three are doing iron plate, and then these are doing iron rod. So these two are doing iron rod. And this is going to be doing screws. Uh, rod and plate. I'm not done with the, iron, or, uh, the copper stuff and things yet. Just wanted to give you an update, because I know I I'm not talking, like, at all. Um... It's hard to talk to you guys, read my chicken scratch, and math, and yeah, this is way above me, man. It legit is far surpassing my ability to multitask. Uh, but I'm doing the best I can, and I hope you're holding it in there. This episode's gonna be probably pretty friggin' long. I don't know, I'll try to edit the best I can. Maybe I'll put in some music or something to make it a little bit more interesting. I can tell you right now, the uh, satisfactory music, it gets annoying. It's just the same goddamn thing over and over again. So I might fix that. And it's loud. I even turned it down. It's still loud. Anyway, I'm going to continue on. So grab some Wobble Pops and uh, sit tight.
Okay, guys. Holy crap. That is, uh... Man, that's a lot. That is a lot of brain power that my brain is struggling with. Okay. Um... I'm gonna actually... Eventually. I don't think it's gonna be... The, you know what? I might as well do it. I'll just do it this episode. It's gonna be a long one. I'm gonna use that limestone right here. And put the cement stuff and things right here. There's plenty of room. And... The reason I'm going to do that is because once I decided I wasn't going to do a three-story building, what I should have done was move all these machines over one block. And I didn't do that. So now I have this open space here. And instead of tearing it down, I can just utilize that limestone and just bring the concrete right here. It's such a small platform anyway. It's not like it's only producing concrete, right? At least for now. I don't know what it produces later, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, unfortunately, I think I'm just about out of... Oh, no, I got... And there's more... I got more sheets, and there's more crafting down there. So now I'm going to do the limestone. Just get that set up real quick. Um, I got to get a miner down over there. So I think what I'm going to do is tear that down, bring the miner over here, and then start the limestone stuff and things right here. And that guy is annoying as shit. He is all up in my face. Well, that's unfortunate. That wasn't a limestone node. It was just a chunk of rock. I mean, it was limestone, but it says there's no limestone when I'm trying to place it. I really didn't want to... Put a belt all the way from over there. Doesn't look like I have an option. Alright. Well, I think I'm just going to set up the machines and I'll get that running uh, at a later date. We have a shit ton of cement. Or concrete. Whatever you want to call it. It's the same damn thing. So what I'll do is I'll set these machines up. Um... Kick that guy off our property for the 50th F in time. He is annoying as all hell, and I have a feeling he's going to be stuck here, too. Look at it. What the fuck, man? Get off my shit. Get! You son of a bitch. That sucks, man. Well, he lives there forever. Lame. Alright. Let's get this going. All right, guys, I think I got that set up. I probably didn't need three of those. That's a little overkill on the concrete. 
but I mean it fit. I guess I could move that over and give myself some room. Because I don't think we need three of these for concrete. Do we? Do we really? Probably not. I'm gonna get rid of this. And that. And we'll just have a spot here. I don't know. I was really just doing it because it fills up everything, but... Well, let's see. What does it look like without that there? It looks like it's incomplete. I'm putting that back. Yeah, I prefer this, even though it's overkill. Yeah, that'll be much better, I think. It'll just look better in general. So now we have a big giant pimple with legs in our fucking face. We got copper stepping things going over there. We have steel, or not steel, iron stepping things over here. It's the basics. It's not the reinforced plate or rotors or any. Whoops. Incorrect information. So we have sheets and iron rods and screws. Over there we have everything that would involve copper, cable, wire, and uh, copper sheets. Everything's organized. It looks good. I probably could have brought those out to even this up, but deal with that later. Uh, as far as power goes, I still got to hook that up, but I kind of sort of want to finish the build rather than turning all that off and then not having any material at all. I know I could just hook up the conveyors, right, and get those going. But, that's already got reinforced plate happening. And rotors. So until this new build is done, I think we're just gonna leave it like this. Wait, wait, wait. What does that look like? One, two... Th what the hell did I do wrong here? Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Uh, we still got to get the MK2 stuff and things hooked up, which I just realized... I don't know how, the, how I'm going to make that unless I can buy the... Um, nope, stop, please. Unless I can buy this in-case industrial beam, I'm going to need a lot of that, which means I'm going to need a lot of tickets. Because I can't make any of that. Um, see, I would need just the regular MK1 for the concrete. I'm not going to worry about that. But the MK2s I need for the iron and the copper. And then eventually upgrade the coal power. That's going to need much more than that. Let's see. What was I doing just now? Oh, yeah. What is this going to cost? Um, would that be parts? Can I even buy in case? Yeah, I can. And it gives me a hundred. Uh, it's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be way more than that. Two hundred. Oh, I think we're going to be just fine then. Because that doesn't take but ten. Oh, yeah, we're totally fine. Totally fine. In fact, this might have more coupons for us. Four. Wow, why is that taking longer than last time? That should be producing way more. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I'm gonna take these anyway. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay. 
Yeah, I look at it. Now it's hauling ass. Alright, so... We got the copper, the iron, and the concrete situated right here. Next step would be build up another floor and get the reinforced plate, the rotors, and anything else like the modular frames and stuff like that will be up higher. Seems kind of ass backwards to me, but I don't know. And then eventually somehow, I mean, there's got to be a way to get rid of these guys, right? Like, they're so annoying. They're just in my face and in the way all the damn time. But, I think it's some accomplishment that is some major progress, at least in my opinion, considering went from this fucking rat's nest, this abomination, to organization. I find that to be quite pleasing. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Thanks for all the support and all the comments. You guys are awesome. It is greatly appreciated, and I love the interaction. Uh, if you want to see more, like and subscribe. This is Wall Pop Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.